In this video lesson, I'm going to look at creating striped and mirrored logical volumes within LVM. So essentially, I'm going to be creating RAID 0 and RAID 1 arrays. I'll start by looking what I to see what I have, pseudo LVS, and I have a leftover logical volume from the previous lesson. So let's just remove it. pseudo LV remove my data VG volume 1 LV. It's active, so I hit it. I have to hit yes to remove it. If I run sudo lvs, it's clear. If I run sudo pvs, I can see the disks that I have. So I have dev sd b, c, d, and e. And I'll be using these drives to set up my arrays. To start with, let's go ahead and create a striped array. I'll say sudo lv create, which is the same command that we use to create just regular logical volumes. I can go ahead and give it a size. So let's go ahead and create a 1020 megabyte. Now it's going to be striped, so this is going to be striped among however many disks I want. I'm also going to give it a name. Well, let's just use the same naming convention we've been using through all these lessons, volume one LV. Here's where the striping happens. I, ha I can designate how many stripes that I want, and the option is dash I. I can say that I want two stripes, and then that will divide that 1020 megabytes among two different disks and use both of these disks for our RAID 0 array. I can also use the dash i and then immediately put a 2 rather than a space there. I prefer to have it this way. Either way will work though. So in our case now I'm going to create two stripes and I'm going to use two different disks to do this. I also need to add in the volume group that I plan on using which is going to be my data vg. And I can hit enter now and the command will be complete. So let's just hit enter and see what happens. It's telling me that there's an ext4 file system left on it, so I just hit Y to remove it or wipe it. All right, let's run a couple commands and see what was created. sudo lvs is going to show me that it created a one gigabyte logical volume, and it's named volume1-lv. If I run sudo lv display-m, I can see a little bit more details about this. So here's my volume1lv. I can see that it's a gig in size. It's using 256 logical extents. And how it's using them is down here. I can see that it's striped among two different disks or two different stripes. In my case, it's going to be disks. The stripe sizes, so the block size of striping is going to be 64 kilobytes in size. And I can see that on dev sdb, which was the first available drive, the LVM decided to use 0 to 127 or the first block of the first available drive. And it's going to use half of that because I said I wanted it to be 1 gig. And that's half of my hard drive or 512 megabytes here. And then it used the other 512 megabytes from dev SDC, which were extents 0 through 127. So the disk, the disks are split up in half. And then the logical volume uses the first half of SDB and the first half of SDC to create the stripe. I like to have a little bit more control whenever I create my logical volumes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. sudo lv remove my data vg volume 1 lv. And let's recreate this. Well, I have to hit y here to get rid of that. Let's go back to the command I used. And let's make some changes to this. Instead of 1020 megabytes, I personally like to use a dash little l 100% free. And then I like to tell it which drives that I want to use or use the full capacity of. So I could have used a different number here. I could have used a big L, but I like to be using the entire drive whenever my logical volumes are set up. So I'm going to keep everything here the same with the name. I'm going to go ahead and say I want two stripes, but this time I want to tell it which drives that I want the stripes to be on. So I can say slash dev. Let's use SDD and dev sde, which are the last two drives on my four disk set. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Now if I run sudo lv display dash m, I can see that I still have my logical volume. This time though it's a little different. It's two gigabytes in size because I said use all of the free space on the disk or disk d and disk E. So it used all the space, which was a total of one gig in my setup here. And I can see here from 0 to 254, 
it used on the stripe dev sdd and for dev sde it used 0 to 254. so i have a little bit more control now as far as how my stripes are set up and i can change the number of stripes so i could actually create three disk stripes or four disk stripes and i can add that whatever number that i want there all right so that's striping one of the concerns with striping is that although it gives you significant read and write speeds there's no redundancy so let me show you a different type of RAID, this was typically called RAID 1, using mirroring. I'll go ahead and remove the logical volume we have. So LV remove my data, VG, volume 1, LV. All right, so now let's create this logical volume that's mirrored. If I run sudo LV create, which is again the same command, I can go ahead and say the disk size that I want. So I'll use the dash little l, 100% free. I'll go ahead and give it a name again, and I'll just use volume one LV. And rather than using the dash I to tell it how many striped volumes I want, I'm going to use the dash M, which is how many mirrors. If I plan on having a two disk array, so one disk is going to hold the data, the other disk is a mirror, then I only need one mirror. If I had three disks in total and I wanted one disk to be the actual data and then two disks to be the mirror, well, then I would change that to two disks. So this is how many mirrors I have. So I'll say dash M and use one mirror. I also need to tell it which volume group. So I'll use say my data VG. And here I can go ahead and specify the devices. So let's use dev SD. I'll use C this time and dev SD. E. I can go ahead and hit enter. And now my volume group is created. If I run sudo LVS, I can see that my si the size of my logical volume is roughly just one gigabyte in size. And when I mirror it, it provides to me a logical volume that is the capacity of one of my disks because the other disk is the mirror. And I can see here that it's already 100% synced. So as data is written, both of these drives are going to sync together the, amount of the same data. So that what's on one is a mirror of the other one. If I run sudo lv display dash m, which is my normal command, I don't get to see all of the details that I normally see. And that's because when it puts it in RAID 1, and I can see right here it's RAID 1, it doesn't necessarily map the same way as I saw when I created my regular logical volumes or the striped logical volumes. I can see here that it's RAID 1. It created a logical volume, volume 1 LV. And then I can see here they've got this R image 0, RAID image 0. And here's another one, image 1. Now remember, this is a mirror. So they've got LV 0 and LV 1. And these are, this is a mirror of the other one. I also have RAID metadata that is going to be part of these logical volumes as well to keep track of what's going on. I can run a command such as, let's see, PV display. I'll use the PV display dash M option. And I can see a little bit more about what's going on here. So here is my physical volume dev SDB. This is not one of the volumes that I had in my original command. And if I look here, it says physical extent 0 to 254 is free. This one has all free 255 extents. So this is not one that's being used in my volume. I said dev SDC. It's part of my data volume group. And as I go down through here, I have 255 extents, zero of which are free. All 255 are allocated. And I can see how it's broken up. So this is still part of my SDC drive, the physical extents. So the very first physical extent, which is going to be from zero, actually this is the logical extent, zero, it's taking up one logical extent, is going to be making up the metadata for my RAID array. And if I come down here to the physical extents 1 to 254, which is almost the rest, pretty much the rest of the disk, that is going to be making up the actual RAID array image, or my first mirror. And that's going to be logical extent 0 to 253 in this particular volume. If I move down, I can see here's dev SDD. This is not part of my array. I said I wanted C and E. So this one was skipped. And if I come down to drive E, you can see here that I'm using total of 255 with zero free. 
And if I look closely at the physical extents, the very first physical extent from zero to zero is part of the metadata. And then the rest of the drive, one to 254, is the actual image. One other command I can use to help make sense of this is sudo lsbl, actually just run lsblk. I'll use the dash fs option. And I can see here that here's my raid meta information, zero, and that's part of SDC, as well as my image itself for the raid, which is SDC. And here is the second one. And that's on SDE. And here's my actual image, which is SDE. So I can see a little bit more details there about how it's set up. I'll go ahead and remove that again. Let's find my remove command. This time I'm going to create the mirrors and rather than using just two drives, let's go ahead and show you that I can use more than two drives for creating a mirror. So sudo LV create, we'll go ahead and say dash L and again, I'll use 100% free. I'll give it the name of volume one LV and I'll say dash M this time with three drives or actually two mirrors, three drives. There I go. It's going to be part of my data, VG. Now I can list the drives that I want. So dev SDB, dev SDC, and let's use dev SDD. All right, if I were to take a guess as to what the size of this logical volume would be, you might think it's maybe one and a half gigs because I'm using three drives. But in reality, it's going to end up being one gig because there are two mirrors. So if I run sudo LVS, you can see it's the same size, even though I've added another drive. And that's because the other two drives are actually just mirrors of the original one. So I didn't really gain any storage space when I did this. But I can see how it's made up. So sudo, let's do PV display dash M. And I can see the same thing that I saw earlier, SDB. And I can see the metadata and the image. Here's SDC, metadata, image. And here's SDD, metadata, and the new image. So these are the configurations for this RAID array. Another command I can run that I want to, that might be helpful is sudo LVS and use the dash A option. And this can also show you some more information about how the images are set up and the sizes of the images, the sizes of the metadata. So this is a, just a yet another command to see a little bit of additional information about my RAID arrays. So this is creating both striped and mirrored logical volumes here within LVM. And I can choose between what I want. And if I had more disks, I could create a mix of both of them. In future videos, we'll look at other RAID levels as well.